There's been more disagreement in recent years over whether or not college is worth the cost. Yeah, so today we're delving into the value of a college education. Our money expert Dustin Smith from Wealth Enhancement Group joining us now this morning. Hey Dustin, how are you? Doing great. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so between all of us, we've been thinking a lot about college yeah. as the kids kind of make their way through. And I think a lot of parents and a lot of kids are now questioning is it is it worth it like how do you even determine what the value of that kind of education would be yeah i mean this is a really great question to ask because you know just a couple of weeks ago we were talking about you know how everyone has to start paying back their student loans now and how difficult that will be um but you know studies still show that people with a higher level of education still end up making more money and are more likely to work for an employer that offers, you know, decent health and uh, retirement benefits. That's not to say, though, that, you know, college, because we know, honestly, college may not necessarily be for everyone, right. but it still goes to show that you can still be successful even if you don't go to college, too. We've seen that as well. Yeah, we, we have seen that as well. Uh, but, you know, if we're just looking at the numbers, right, we, we tend to see that people with college levels end up making more money over their lifetime. Uh, in fact, you know, a 2021 uh, study was done where they looked at the median income of people with a bachelor's degree. And you know what? They were making about $29,000 more a year than folks with just a high school degree. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, but Dustin, I mean, we're talking about just sort of the economics here. There's far more yeah. to that in the decision to to go to college. Um, are yes. you ready? Do you have the money mm -hmm. for it? You know, and I think when people come to you, especially as a mm -hmm. financial advisor with those questions, those are all kind of things you have to weigh as well. Yeah. You know, I think I think families and students really need to think about what type of career uh, they want uh, these kids to have and what's the income that they may make in that career, right? And then try to align the appropriate schooling, whatever that might be, right? It might be trade school, just might be a two year degree. It, it might not be any education, but you need to make sure that you're aligning those two because you know what, we, we've seen it far too often over this last decade or so where, you know, kids went to very expensive schools because, you know, for whatever reason that might be, only to, you know, get the career of their, of, of their choice, but it just really wasn't paying that much. And all of a sudden they're in this conundrum where they have these, you know, really huge student loans, but they're doing the job that they like, and it's just it just makes them wonder if it was all worth it. See, mm -hmm. that was the other part of the equation, and you kind of touched on this before because we have had this conversation when it comes to student loans. That's another piece of the puzzle, a huge piece of the puzzle. And let's be honest, if you're 18, 19 years old, you're thinking about going to college, that may be the farthest thing from your mind, and that should probably be one of the top things on your mind, is you're going to have to pay that back at some point if you do choose to take out student loans. Yes, and I think this is where parents need to step in uh, as, as much as possible, right? Uh, I mean, it, I, I have, you know, uh, high school children myself and, you know, trying to uh, teach them the, you know, what it's really like to pay back a, a loan and, and the cost of that and what type of impact that will have on their life. Because if we really think about it, people are paying back their student loans now for years, if not decades, and that can have a dramatic effect sure. on how they launch into life. Mm -hmm. It was just interesting, Dustin, because we were uh, showing a story earlier in the day today. Derek James did a story and a lot of uh, about people that were going through apprenticeships mm -hmm. right now, 18, 19 years old, because a lot of companies are out there. Construction companies was this one in particular. Mm -hmm. But they're saying, look, if this isn't for you, we need people in the trades. Yeah. Come on out and come on, do this. Yes. Yeah. So I, I encourage everyone to, you know, some level of higher education is, you know, usually linked to just once again, right. higher levels of income. And and all those things have different things that pay, play out in our society. You're much more likely to be civically uh, engaged, more likely to vote. You're more likely to have a healthier lifestyle. So all those things are good for our community. Right. All right, mm -hmm. Dustin, as always, good stuff. Great to hear from you today. Thanks for having me.